Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error with the driver RQL not less or equal on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in memory diagnostic. Best match should say Windows memory diagnostic. You want to left click on that one time to select it. And now you should get a new pop-up that says check your computer for memory problems. Memory problems can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. Left click on this restart now and check for problems option. Left click on this restart now and check for problems option. Now I would recommend that you make sure you close out of any open programs or applications before you proceed. And then you want to left click on this restart now button. This will take a couple minutes to run the scan so just be patient.
Okay, so at this point you want to open up the start menu and type in device manager. Best match should say device manager. You want to right click on that and then left click on open. Now you want to go to the disk drivers section right here and left one little arrow next to it to expand. Now you might have multiple disk drivers listed in here and you're going to want to make sure the one we're about to work on right now does not have a USB in the name of it. So you might have multiple ones listed here but by reason of deduction it should be a system drive here. It should not say USB in the name. So you want to right click on it and then left click on properties at the bottom of the context menu. Then you want to left on the policies tab at the top. Underneath removal policy, you want to select quick removal, which will disable right caching on the device and in Windows. But you can disconnect the device safely without using the safely remove hardware notification icon. So you want to select OK. You are going to have to restart your computer, which we're not going to do for the moment. I'm just going to click on no. But I recommend that you restart your computer as well and see if that resolves your issue. Now, if that does not resolve the issue, we're going to move on to the next option, which would be to start removing peripheral devices from your computer. So any keyboards, mouse, speakers you might have connected to your computer. I'd recommend unplugging them all and then plugging them all back in, or just plugging unnecessary ones out of your computer and do not plug them back in for a while, and see if it was a particular device that was causing the issue. Now if that does not work, we're going to open up the Star menu, and you want to type in computer. Best match programs should say computer. You want to left click on that. Now you want to take note of whichever local disk is on your computer that Windows is installed on. In my case, it's the C drive. You can see it right here. And there's a little Windows icon also to notify us that this is our drive that Windows is installed on. This is going to be important for the next step in this video, which would be to go back to the Star menu and type in CMD. Underneath Programs, you want to right click on CMD. Left click on Run as Administrator. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now into the elevated command line window you see right here, you want to type in chk, dsk, space, and then remember our drive was C that Windows was installed on. It might be different for you guys, that's why I went through that step. So I'm going to type in uppercase C, colon, which is basically one dot on top of another dot, space, forward slash F, then you can hit enter on your keyboard. Now the check disk scan cannot run if Windows is currently running or it's on, so you'd have to type the Y key on your keyboard, the letter Y, and then hit enter, and then restart your computer. And that'll begin running the check disk scan. Now if that does not work for you after you've restarted your computer, I'd recommend running an SFC. So type in SFC into the command line window. So you go back through the command prompt that we went into just to get up the check disk scan go through the same process except this time you would type in SFC space forward slash scan now note there's two ends in scan now all connected right connected directly to that forward slash then you want to hit enter and this will take some time to run this scan as well as well as all these scans to be honest with you and that's pretty much it I do hope one of the methods that we explore in this video was able to help resolve your issue and as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.